Mom! Welcome back home! I missed you! Hey, Mom! Mom, are you okay? I don't think Mom is in the best of moods right now, Ember. Guess she had a bad day today. Oh? Is there anything we can do to help you feel better, Mom? Well, I guess not. Poor Mom! She'll get better later, don't worry about her too much. You sure there's nothing I can do to cheer her up? Trust me, little sis. When Mom is in a bad mood, you don't want to make her even better than she already is. Bitch, what the hell? Move the hell out in front of the goddamn TV! Uh... Is it too late now to say sorry? Despite Mom's calm demeanor, if she's in a real foul mood, she has a very short fuse. Oh? Poor Mr. Light! The hell? Light, what the hell did you do this time? I didn't do a goddamn thing! I swear! Hi, Mom. Look, I know you're not in a good mood. Big Sister told me that it would be best to leave you alone, but I thought you and me could walk around town and spend some time together. Maybe it will help cheer you up. Little Sis, I told you not to bother Mom. When she's like this, it's best to let her be. I know, but I hate to see Mom unhappy, so it was worth me trying still. You go in. Yay! Let's go have some fun! Wait, you two are leaving? Well then, you two can go, I wanna stay home. I'll just order some food if I get hungry. Huh, I wonder what I should do. Maybe I'll go fuck with Mike, that'll be fun. Hey BB, what's going on? On my way to go fuck with Mike. You want him? Oh, say less, what's the plan? Come with me, we can plan it out in my room. It's such a nice day. This place is so beautiful. Oh look, an ice cream stand. Mom, can I have some money to buy some ice cream, please? Yay, thanks Mom. Don't worry, I won't be long, and I'll make sure to stay in sight. I already told you. I didn't take it. That's no lie. I know it was you. Now give it back. For the seventh time, I didn't take your wallet. Does it even look like I have anywhere to put it if I did? Bitch, I'm not stupid. You could have put it in your boot. I ain't gonna ask you again. Give me back my damn wallet. Clearly you are. Or maybe you're just blind. Or you're both. So how about you go crawl back up your mother's ass and hopefully she'll give birth to someone who isn't as blind and stupid as you are. That's it. You done fucked up now. You think you can get away with talking to me like that? I don't fucking think so, bitch. Oh my god. Thank you so much, miss. I thought I was dead there for a moment. That guy almost shot me because he thought I stole his wallet. I kept telling him I didn't. Do I look like a thief to you? But anyway, I appreciate you saving me. Who are you? Oh, you're the silent type. I see. I kind of don't mind that. I suppose I could introduce myself then. I'm Angel. Pleasure to meet you, miss.
Mom, are you okay? I heard a loud sound and thought I'd check on you. Oh, you have a kid? I didn't know you were married. Oh, Mom isn't married. There is a reason for that, but... Let's just say it's not a very happy story. Oh, okay. I won't ask about it. By the way, that loud noise you heard was your mother saving me from some scumbag. Oh, well that explains that then. So, who are you, miss? My name's Angel. What about you? My name is Ember, and this is my mom, Crystal. Crystal? So that's your name? Yeah, sorry about that. Mom doesn't really talk. I've noticed that. I do have to go, though, before it gets too dark. I need to look for a new home. You don't have a place to stay? Sadly, no. My house got burned down by a crazy ex-stalker of mine, and now I'm stuck staying in a hotel room till I can find a new home. Why don't you come stay with us then? Mom doesn't mind, plus we have an extra room for you to use. Really? No, no, I shouldn't. I don't want to be a bother. But then again... I really don't want to spend God knows how long in a hotel room. You know what? Forget it. I'll come. It's settled then. Mom, can we go back home now, please? I'm getting hungry. Here we are, home sweet home. This is where you live? Wow. <laughs> what on earth was that? <laughs> Audio's motherfucker! Make sure to send us a postcard from Mars! Crap! We're so screwed! So this will be my new room? It's very pretty. I love it. Well, I think I'm gonna turn in for the night. Again, I wanna thank you for saving my life, Crystal. And for letting stay here. Oh wait, before I forget. How are you gonna communicate with me? I don't want to rely on your daughter to mediate for you. Oh, I see. I can work with that. Makes it a lot easier. Ouch. That's it. If that's how you bitches want to play that game, I can play it better. Watch your asses. Oh boy. Something tells me this won't end well. <laughs> <laughs>